there's fast crops, there's quick crops. And then there's radishes. Seed to sprout, root to harvest in about a month. It's quite astonishing and really one of those things that you need to grow to believe. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of the Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, it's almost enough time to grow a crop of radishes. And today's episode is all about that king of quick crops, planting, maintaining, and harvesting. Let's cover it all. Time short as it always is, so let's get going. Not commonly known to a lot of people, but radishes are actually a brassica. And interestingly enough, they can be either an annual or a biennial. However, you're going to be harvesting those bulbous taproots long before any flowers appear. If you're scouting out locations, radishes are a full sun crop. Plant them where they're going to get at least six plus hours a day of direct sunlight. Also, as a root crop, they enjoy a loose soil free of stones, debris, or any impediments. Throughout that amazing, albeit short life cycle, make sure to keep your radishes well watered. But never soggy or standing in pools of water. Like every other crop out there, drainage really is the key. For planting, direct seeding is obviously how we're going to be growing these guys. And they can be planted throughout the year multiple times, as long as the soil temperatures stay above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. With radishes, you want to sow them shallow, no more than about an inch deep. And if you're doing many, keep your rows at least a foot apart. Like carrots and beets, radishes are sown heavy and then thin later. Don't skip out on that step though. If they're not thinned and they become too crowded, radishes simply won't produce that bulbous taproot. So, to make sure that we give them the space they need, use a clean pair of scissors or your fingers if you want to, and simply cut or pull up the unwanted plants. The ideal spacing for radishes is about an inch between each plant. You don't have to be exact though, just use it as a guideline. I find that radishes are best thinned once they get their first set of true leaves, about five to six days after germination. Again, don't leave it too long or you're gonna jeopardize that harvest. Even though they're a vigorous grower, I don't normally fertilize my radishes. They just grow so quickly and that cycle is over before you know it. So I don't find fertilizing all that necessary. However, if you feel you have to due to poor soil or some nutrient deficiencies, simply use a balanced liquid organic boost roughly two weeks after germination. Just that one application at the midpoint of the cycle should be enough. Even though radishes are a root crop, that bulbous taproot grows right at the surface. Size is your clue to harvest, so keep an eye on them and don't leave them in the ground too long. Most varieties taste the best when they're just below golf ball size. Also, those leafy tops are totally edible as well, although they're best eaten when the plants are quite young. For an added bonus, grow your radishes near beans, beets, Cucumbers, lettuce, mint, peas, spinach, squash, and tomatoes as the perfect companion. And for the perfect companion video, make sure to check out the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.